FFJ European Championship Seged 2022. We are waiting for first junior round of the fly-offs to start. As we had two years of break in flying, this nicely coincided with this pattern that uh, Siam has of having continental championship on even years and world championships on odd years. So we ended 2019 with Turnava World Championship and Seged was originally scheduled to 2020. But as you know, the world events, this had to be postponed. So we wanted to put it together in 2021, but a couple of teams complained that they weren't able to get proper training because of the conditions in 2020 and early 21. So at the end, the uh, organizer decided to postpone it one more year to 2022. And now here we are. So it wasn't just COVID that made the whole thing interesting. In those two years, the drone regulations came into a law. And suddenly we in RC flying have to consider all of that as well. Not just as pilots, but the organizer too. Which means this is the first large or first category FLJ event that I'm aware of that had to take care of all of that. So heads off to the organizer to that managed to get all of this through and I'm sure the way he did things will be reference for the how things are done in the future. So this is Las Lamarco, the main engine behind the whole event. We now have wind blowing down the runway from the north. So I expect these guys to turn around and fly downwind. We have seven juniors flying in the fly-offs. Sadly, number of juniors is going down in recent years. That's something we have to take care of as a hobby as a group of people interested in continuing this hobby. We have to figure out how to attract more juniors and get them to the competition level. So two are now over the camp. The rest are further downwind. At the moment, no one looks like they are in a pretty good air. Although downwind looks slightly better. So it's now 5 p.m. Thermals are still there. There was one very obvious one about 10 minutes ago where we were waiting for the round to start based on the what those flags there at the end of the camp were doing. So the Ukraine and Romanian flags were pointing towards each other. And that means that air was rushing to the area in between them and there is where the thermal must have been. So let's see now. I'm pretty sure that this is too low to do anything. Yeah. 
<laughs> even doing a circle on the wingtip is not that good from the st strength perspective. But let's see if this the other guy that's very low, if he will make it. So this is now a difference of a few meters on start. Maybe if you are at 35 meters you don't make it and then the next guy who's at 40 meters makes full time. And I don't yet have a good strategy of how to decide what height to go. So at the competitions like this I just make sure that I'm a bit above the guys that are the lowest. So that's my approach. I don't want to be the lowest, I don't want to be the highest, but just maybe somewhere near the bottom. That's good enough. Usually. So one more plane near nearing ground down and then there's next one who will also probably land soon but let's see he's still fighting and he has good wind blowing but my guess would be that he's too low to actually save the day So others that were higher are now coming back, not risking to fly that far away, which makes sense, I mean, I wouldn't as well. But finding a row of thermals uh, at 5 p.m., that's all, uh, also a challenge. So I guess these guys have one more round to fly in this afternoon. Uh, I guess the good score will be if you land within 75 meters already. So, okay, that guy just landed. And then there are three more that are downwind and pretty low. Not sure if they'll be able to even come back. So, there's one guy here who decided to come back early and this is probably now a good position and now I have to be careful talking about guys here because we even have girls flying so that's the first as well I mean thumbs up we want to have more girls as well not just juniors in general. Okay, that guy has landed, but at least he has a score. Let's see now. Three more guys flying, so those guys that were downwind got something. And let's see if this would be enough. Now it looks good. They have constant wind blowing their way. I would stay there a few more minutes 
and then start uh, thinking about how to come back. Now, what, seven minutes and a half of flying to do, so it's about halfway done. I think the, they are now all coming back. The upper one just make another circle. Not sure if you even see them. I mean, I barely see them without the camera. Just pointing in general direction where they are. And I think having ground or horizon for reference is very uh, useful so you can judge how far and how high they are okay so maybe he will try for another thermal there All three of them are now trying to extend their time. But the lower two, I think they have to find something to come back. The upper guy is still good. Five minutes and fifteen seconds to go. That's going to be tough. Pity. So after all that work, it's not even within 75 meters. But the other guy that was at the top, He made it. Very good. And that's like 3 minutes and 40 seconds to go. And all people landed. Let's see what our future hope will do for the second flight. One minute to start the second route for juniors. Wind has died down, shadows are getting longer. Flags from all pointing in the same direction. Even the wind socket, the hangers. 30 seconds to start. So what I would do now 
is go higher. 100 meters at least, maybe more. And then just stick close to the landing points. Venture only far enough that I am still able to return. So another option is to start upwind a bit, but that brings its own challenges. So you can go high upwind and then just hang there, hope for some good air. So behind those trees and buildings that are there you can hope for some kind of wave. So if you hit it precisely and you can just hang around there for 10 minutes, 15 minutes easily. But for that the wind speed has to be more or less constant and this is not what we are seeing here today. I would guess that this is not the right strategy. So the guy above did a couple of circles already. And he is gently going downwind. And looks like he is better off than the other guy that tried upwind first. He's now also going downwind, but he lost more height. Where are the rest? So the rest are uh, behind the start line, at the end of the camp, or slightly further downwind, but none of them yet ventured really far. Which is a good, which is a lesson they got from the previous round. So let's see if this low guy will make it. I would say this is already too low, but he's still within reach of the landing points, so he still has a chance to do a couple of turns and see if. They work out. For now he looks like he's in a good air. Even climbing a bit. Now the wind, you have a gust of wind blowing towards me which means something's happening behind me. Very interesting. Okay, the Guys that went downwind now got a really nice thermal. Climbed over 100 meters just since I last looked at them. And they're still pretty close, which is good. They aren't nearly, not even half as far away as they were before. But right now they don't have any clouds as a background, they only have blue sky. Still the interesting one is this guy below. He also climbed a bit. 
not as much as the rest did. Oh, he looks like he's struggling a bit. He has to decide either fly further downwind, which makes it a must leaving. to find something there, or play it safe and come back home. Now it looks like he's continuing. It looks like he fell out of the terminal a bit. Now the only choice is to fly back towards the landing points, hoping that something will appear on the way, like it did just now. Uh, he's still searching. He's not confident in whatever air he's flying in. And I guess now he's just playing it for time. Hanging there as much as possible. Coming back closer to the points is always a good idea in this situation. The rest are 400 meters plus and already came back overhead, so they are over the corridor, which is a smart move. And we again are in the middle of the 15 minutes flight time. So about 7 minutes, 20 seconds to go. This is now a fight. He has to find something there on the way back in order to do the remaining six and a half minutes. Uh, that just looked good. White turn to maybe center it better. He's definitely climbing, but I'm afraid he's gaining more distance than it's worth.
5 minutes 15 seconds to go. Uh, this will be very interesting to see if he will be able to come back. Okay, he decided that he has enough. He's now pushed Five it into remaining. the wind. Playing it safe. Coming back. Better get points for uh, less than perfect time, but at least you get points. Looks like he wants more. A very fighting person. Four minutes to go. Senior competition. And he Round still three. has to work for them. Group one. Yaroslav Vostelmachi. Filippo De Luca. Matei Jordan. Betty Sutinut. Anna Schutz. Nicola Schutz. I think that's it now. Anna Janza. Alessandro Aramini Good job Yes, that was intense. Okay, two minutes, 50 seconds to go. And planes are slowly coming down. And they're all pretty high. Still, let's see if I can get any. Better move over to the landing points.
Very nice. Okay, half of the fly-off done. We continue tomorrow morning. New day, new challenges. <laughs>